If you're looking for cheap and reliable Madden coins, make sure you use the link in the description and use the code LAUNCH for 5% off. I'm just saying. What's up, gamers? It's your boy, Launchpad1412. Excited to be back with some more Madden 19 gameplay here. I got an online ranked match versus a random opponent. My opponent has the uh, Atlanta Falcons. I couldn't think of the team. I got the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, some might consider it's a classic. I don't know. The first half gets kind of wacky and entertaining. The second half is good too, but the first half you get a couple wacky plays, and uh, I thought, but I think people like to see, but I think people enjoy that type of content from my um, channel. Sometimes things are just unpredictable in this game, and you just can't, you can't help what really happens. It's, uh, and it's kind of an old game too. I, I believe this game, I played this game about a month ago, but sometimes you just can't predict what happens in this game, man. It, it, it's just wild. I know you guys are probably wondering what's going on with me lately. I'm still been doing my thing, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I guess I'm taking care of. Look, 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 look at this right here. Take care of the family. I, he should have ran. He should have been able to run that back. He, he, he tripped over. I guess he tripped over the guy. But yeah, you know, taking care of my family. You know, doing a little bit of the Uber, um, a little bit of uh, you know, a little bit of school, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I've been watching, you know, TV shows late. You know, sacrificing some sleep. <laughs> been watching my show. I'm not really sure why. As we know, we're covering a fumble right there. My goodness, man. That's how I mean. It gets, it gets wacky uh, in this first half. Actually, in the first quarter. I had to be technical. And something else wild happens in this game in this first half. I can't remember really who, I can't remember what it was at the top of the year. But something nutty also happens. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of um, like TV shows that involve superheroes like Arrow, Supergirl, The Flash, um, Jessica Jones. I've been, I've been in that zone lately at night, sacrificing some sleep to watch those shows. So I'm just in that mode. I, I go through phases, man. I go through phases where I do stuff, random stuff in my free time. Sometimes I play a bunch of Madden games in my free time. Sometimes I watch a bunch of shows. I just let it come to me. And I just let you know, just let it flow. You know, whatever it is, it, it just is what it is. And that's that's what's kind of beautiful about it. But I got plenty of Madden games to, to um to put up, so don't even worry about that. I got NBA 2K games too. I know you guys are probably wondering why I've been playing that lately. I just um because of the cheese factor and the way they have done the my team. Um, it's not nothing that I can't handle. I just gotta be in a certain mind frame to play it. That's all. <laughs> but I, I still like the game though. But it's got my mentality has got to be different. I got a couple of um, interesting Uber stories. I believe I, I believe are kind of interesting. I'm gonna tell you guys real quick. They're, they're really short. One guy comes to the car. You know, he lost his finger. Yeah, he lost his finger, uh, at least the top of his finger, and he's holding his finger bleeding. But the crazy thing over is, I'm driving to the hospital as fast as I can. And ironically, we're on roads in Delaware where you we, you can't speed on <laughs> because the cops were sitting right there waiting for you. And the thing of it is, this guy was cool on the other side of the pillow. Like, this guy, for somebody that just lost half of his finger, this guy was extremely calm. He was a chef, and he was doing some cutting, and he was talking at the same time. Wasn't paying attention, he accidentally cut himself. But, yeah, that was just wild how... It, it's wild that I'm taking somebody to the hospital that lost their finger. But, in the same breath, this guy is cooler than the other side of the pillow, man. Like, I couldn't believe how calm he was. I think I would have been just a little bit more panicked if I would have lost half of my finger. And he didn't have it on ice either, so I'm not really sure, um, you know, what's going, to, what's going on with that, you know what I mean? But, well, how they going to, I guess they're going to take skin from other parts of his body and connect it onto his finger. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure how that's going to go. But... Yeah, that was that. Um, there was another story I had too. I can't remember off top of the head. That was kind of interesting. Uh, if it comes to me, I'll touch you guys though. But anyway, <laughs> top of the third quarter, man, we end up getting a nice tackle right there. We just trying to figure out, you know, what we can do to neutralize this opponent as, as, as he almost gets a touchdown right there. We end up hitting him right there at the three. First down and goal. He goes to the run. We end up stopping him right there. Look, look at this, man. Look at this. Just bolding, bowling ball right there, man. Boy, Tevin, Tevin Colby, man, just, just being a being a nut man being a problem in this game he's actually been pretty good for me in fantasy football you know this week he didn't have the best week but he does get that tough set right there three chances with coleman right now why not he ends up tying the game seven to seven right here on the left to the left hand side we're gonna get i believe that was a uh, where i don't know if that was where or not because i believe kareem hunt wasn't in the game i'm not really sure why he's not in the game with the old williams okay well because i'm not really sure why kareem hunt wasn't in the game with the junction or maybe he wasn't the game he just went on, the, on that side but anyway Third down and six, we ended up getting the first down right there. That was a wild first down right there. Because the thing of it is, it didn't even look like I ran six yards. It was more like three or two yards. But <laughs> we're keeping the chain moving. Top of the fourth quarter, we're trying to figure out a way to get into his end zone. Third down and five. I see Sammy Watkins one more time. We don't get the first down right there. But it, it, it's funny. It felt like we did the exact same thing 
on the play before that. We never get the first down to worry. Good job by worrying getting the catch, man. <laughs> he could have dropped that right there. We go over the middle and woo! We thread the needle right there with my favorite play, man. I, I gotta go to it, man. I don't do split calls as much as I used to because of the complaint, but uh, what does I complain? But um, what what my subscriber said, but I, I got it. Uh, if my opponent gets a touchdown, great touchdown with my opponent. My goodness, man! But I had to, um, you know, I had to go on, to go to my favorite play when it's when it's bread and butter time. It's clutch time. Chris, I, I got to go to my best plays, man. That right there, there's another play. I'm just saying the split close, but there's another play, and uh, I can't think of the name of the formation, but I'm sure you guys are familiar with the play. I do it often right here. We go over the middle to Sammy Walker. I'm not really sure why he, he is um, the number one versus Sammy, not Sammy Walker, but um, Tyreek Hill. I'm not really sure why he's the number one. As we keep the chain moving right here with seven seconds left to go in the game, we kick this field goal. That's kind of why I was like, you know, I usually don't call these a classic, even though they're really good games, you know. Really good game. It's hard for me to kind of consider that classic just a little bit because, you know, I like to call them classics like where I get a touchdown at the end. And, you know, you can't consider this a classic. I understand why you would consider this a classic. But look at this, man. 22 for 25 of Pat Mahomes. That is nuts, man. <laughs> My goodness, man. 200-something yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. I love getting stats like that. <laughs> I love getting stuff like that. I think I barely ran the ball this game. I, I just went. To, I, I've been going through that phase, man, where I just don't run the ball that much. But somehow I find a way to win games. I, I know throwing is more, a little bit more exciting. It is more of a challenge for me to try to throw most of the game to see if I can win the game versus throwing and running. Well, I know I'm going to win most games by throwing and run um, properly. This is your boy, Launchpad1412, and I'm out.